Hello everyone and welcome to another super science video of the Mastodon Regional Library. I'm Miss Stephanie, one of the librarians in the Youth Services Department here, and today we're going to be doing a video about a simple machine, the pulley. Simple machines are basically inventions that help, it, help make work easier for us. And here is the pulley, and a pulley has a wheel, as you can see right here, and there's a groove that a rope goes through it. And then when a person pulls down on the rope, the other end of the rope goes around and comes up and it helps it make it easier to move heavy objects. And there's a couple of different types of pulleys and the one we're gonna do today is called a fixed pulley, which means it just stays on one place and it's gonna be a flat pole. And we, I like this experiment a lot because you can do a lot of different ways to get it to work. I'm gonna show you two ways I got it to work and the materials that you'll need, you'll need some scotch tape, you'll need a straw, some markers or crowns, some thread. I am using embroidery thread because it's a little thicker, but if there's just like a spool of regular thread, that'll work too. You're gonna want a ruler or a dowel rod. And the ruler, if for one type, has to have holes in it like this, and the other um, doesn't have to have holes. And then there's gonna be a couple ways that we're gonna to use to put our flagpole in place. We can use these binder clips. Um, we need some pretty large ones. This one works, but this one is a much more steady base. But if you don't have those, Play-Doh is also a great way to get your flagpole to stay up. And then just a few more things, scissors, a white piece of paper or whatever color you want. Then you're gonna either need if you're gonna do the type with no holes in it, you'll need two thumbtacks. And if you're gonna do the flagpole with the ruler with holes in it, you'll need two brads. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and make our flagpole. Now I'm gonna do the one with the binder clip and then I'll show you the other one. For so this one, you're gonna need the ruler with the holes in it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up your binder clip like this. Um, you should see it's open like this and then stick the ruler in it and clamp it shut. And then to make it a little more secure, I like to put these metal things over it and it should stand up straight. Okay, great. So we've got that. The next thing we need to do is put the pulleys on, which in this case are gonna be our little brads. So let me lay this down so you guys can see a little better. I'm gonna do the smaller hole, and what you wanna do is you want to unfold your brad just slightly, put it in the hole, and then turn it around, and you're going to open it up so that it doesn't go back through the hole. You wanna leave a little bit of room there so you'll have some room for your thread. So I put one there, and we're gonna put one at the top. Okay, put it in here right there. And as you can see, I'm going to unfold it and it will stay in place. All right, so now we want to make sure there's a little bit of room. This one doesn't have much, so I'm going to move it up a little. It needs a little bit of room for your thread to go through the groove. Okay, so we've got our two brads in. Now, another thing is, oh, before we get the thread on, we have to attach our flag. So here's my flag, nothing special. I bet you guys could do better. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your straw. You're gonna cut a small piece off the end, maybe just maybe a little smaller than the length, the width of your flag. So let me make sure it lines up. Yes, that's perfect. So we'll put that aside and then we'll take a piece of tape and we'll tape the straw to the flag. Like, I like to do it behind it so you can't see it as much. And do an extra long piece so it should be nice and secure. And then press it. Great. So let's get that thread out. All right, here's the end. And so you're basically going to do... So you see how there's a distance between these two brads? You're going to make it a little more than double that because we're going to have to tie a knot. So what I do, one way that I found was easy, is I put it up I, to get the distance between them. Then I'm going to fold it over to get about here. And then I'm going to cut a little extra off so I have room to tie a knot. Now, 
And I highly recommend that you lay this flat because it makes it a lot easier to put the thread on. And I also noticed that I don't have a lot of room on this end. I need to move this one a little bit because that binder clip was getting in the way. Okay, so we're gonna thread it over one brad. All right, and once we've got that, I'm gonna then thread my little flag on the other. And it may take a few tries, but see, I didn't get it on my first try, but just keep going, pushing it in. I think I've almost got it. Yes, there we go, good. And then thread it. All right, so it came off the brad, but that's okay because I didn't tie it yet. So we wanna make sure. There's one. And there's the other. And you want the knot to be on the left side of your flagpole. So, and then I'm gonna tie a good tight knot. You may need an adult to help you with this. Um, but you just want to make, probably a double knot will be your best bet, so just pull. And then we're going to loop it, pull it under. Um, there we go. And then pull it shut. And you can trim off, I'm going to trim off the extra. Okay, and then what you're going to do next is pull. Oh, my neck knot came apart. Hold on one second. I'm going to pause and tie a better knot. Okay, I got that knot in it. And see, you can see it's attached to the flag. And then what you're going to do, I'm going to move a little closer so you can see better, is I'm going to gently pull the left side and make the flag. Oh, there we go. Make the flag rise to the top. There we go. And that's a flagpole. And then you can just pull gently down on the right side to make your flag go back down like this. Great. And let me show you, let me move the camera back down and show you how you can make the other one. I don't like this one as much to be honest because I don't feel like it stays as well. So I've got my, you're basically gonna do the same thing except you're gonna put two thumbtacks in and you're gonna thread, put the thread around the two things and just follow the same steps. And also, if you don't have a binder clip, I think this makes it look a little more colorful. You can just stick your flag in the Play-Doh. So there's how to make a flagpole. I hope you guys had a good time making your flagpole today and I've just picked a couple books that I thought were related to today's experiment. The first is the series of symbol machines that I've been using. It's pull, This one's Pulleys obviously by Louise Spilsberg and this has a lot of great information about pulleys. They had some things in here that I didn't even know were pulleys. Like here's the fixed pulley that we did our experiment on but the kind that I was interest, more interested in there's another fixed pulley, is the movable pulley. And you can go to that to do different things. Like there's a cable car that's going from one place to another and that uses a movable pulley. And something that looks really fun is a zip line that uses it as well. And so, and I also learned that pulleys have been used for over 3000 years. So they've been helping people lift things for that long and it's really cool. And if you wanna learn more about pulleys, check this book out. And since we did a flagpole, I thought it'd be fun to do a book about the flags of the world. And I like this book a lot because you can just like look through and just see what you like or interested in. I've highlighted three flags. Um, there's like over almost 200 in here. But the first is our country. We've got to be patriotic. The United States. We have our stars and stripes and it has 50 stars of the 50 states. And what I like about this is there's like a little bit of information about each country about, and their flag. So let's see, we did that. This is, looks a little awkward, hold on. So there's two more. The, fur, the second one is Papua New Guinea and it's this flag right here. And what I liked about it is a 15 year old girl designed this and she put the yellow bird of paradise on here. And I just thought it was a really cool looking flag. And then the last one is the one from Ethiopia. And I just like the color design of this one as well and like the star in the middle was what kind of like 
attracted me to it. So if you want to look and see what other flags that you can find, I would highly recommend this book. Uh, the author's name is Sylvie Bednard. So thank you again for joining me for our, one of our super science videos. I look forward to sharing more experiments with you soon. Have a good day. Bye.